Welcome to the first community presentation for the Danny Heaton New Street Connector Path and Linear Park Redesign Projects. This meeting will introduce you to our two new path projects. This pre-recorded presentation will be screened on Tuesday, June 7th at 5.30 p.m. Following the screening, there will be an opportunity to give input and answer questions using the question and answer function in the bottom center of the virtual Zoom window. Please make sure to visit the project web pages to sign up for the mailing lists to get updates about the meeting on June 7th and receive future project updates. The agenda for our meeting will consist of talking about project elements and schedule. We'll also view maps and photos of the corridors to understand existing conditions. We'll provide an update on the public engagement process and discuss draft project goals and visions. Then we'll have time at the end for questions and feedback. The scope of the Linear Park Redesign Project includes a full renovation of the path and landscape of the park from Russell Field to the Cambridge-Somerville line. Linear Park was finished in 1985 with the extension of the Red Line. It's a busy path with a high number of users and has not had substantial work completed since then, so everything needs a refresh. So we're planning on rehabilitating the paved path surface. We're also looking at opportunities to include new landscaping and trees. We'll look at including new lighting, stormwater drainage, and furniture like benches and trash and recycling containers and other path amenities. As with all city projects, 1% of the project construction budget includes selecting an artist to incorporate public art on the site. We'll also talk about additional project elements throughout this presentation. The map shows existing paved path area and park parcel lines. There is another map on the website if you want to look at things in more detail and zoom in. Please visit camb.ma forward slash linear park. The project scope for the Danny Heen New Street Connector Path includes creating a new multi-use path corridor from Concord Avenue to the Danny Heen Park area between New Street and Fresh Pond Mall. This path is important to provide a safe off-road connection to Danny Heen Park and Fresh Pond and hopefully to neighborhoods beyond Danahee along Sherman Street so that people have a safe and comfortable connection to access residential neighborhoods, schools, and recreation opportunities. We'll also be including the installation of path lighting and stormwater drainage, including a look at green opportunities for stormwater infiltration and native plantings. This is a former railroad that hasn't been used in years. It's very overgrown with invasive species. We're going to clear some vegetation out and evaluate what trees can be preserved and find locations for additional trees and plantings. As with all city projects, 1% of the construction budget will be dedicated to incorporating public art. We'll also discuss additional project elements throughout the presentation. The map graphic at right shows the former railroad corridor that the city now owns in a solid line, as well as an opportunity for us to extend the path on other property shown in a dashed line to Sherman Street. If you want to zoom in on the map and see additional details, please visit camb.ma forward slash Danny He Connector. There is a long standing desire to better connect neighborhoods across the Fitchburg MBTA commuter rail line, like the residential area along Range Avenue to Danny He Park and to Fresh Pond Mall. As part of the project, we have included a feasibility study to explore a bike and pedestrian crossing over or under the Fitchburg commuter rail line between Alewife Brook Parkway and Sherman Street. There are about 1,200 housing units north of the Fitchburg commuter rail line between Ringe Ave, Alewife Brook Parkway, and Sherman Street. The graphic shows a dark blue line that represents the MBTA commuter rail between the Ringe Ave neighborhood and the Danahee Park Fresh Pond Mall area. There is a half mile distance between the existing crossings of the rail tracks with Alewife Brook Parkway at one end and Sherman Street at the other end, so it's a long distance without a crossing. The arrows in dark gray show one of the desire lines that we'll be studying, given that the city has easements here and we'll be working with area property owners to study our options. Future steps in connecting across the tracks could look at the design of a facility. At this time, no construction funding is allocated to building a crossing. The schedule for these PATH projects include a public engagement process that began this spring and will continue through this summer and fall 2022. Following the public engagement process, we anticipate having conceptual designs later in the fall of 2022. 
once we, we review the conceptual designs and solicit additional public input, we anticipate having final designs in the spring of 2023. If there are no unforeseen delays, we anticipate advertising construction in the fall of 2023 and beginning construction during 2024. Linear Park Existing Conditions and Project Givens The map graphic at right shows the two multi-use path projects in North Cambridge. At the top of the graphic is Linear Park, and the next handful of slides will show existing conditions at Linear Park. A given is a known condition or a highly likely project outcome. Some project givens include, we're working within a defined right-of-way, and we're going to maintain a 12-foot to 14-foot wide paved multi-use path surface. We're going to keep existing trees in good health and install new plantings and landscaping. Because the path crossing at Mass Ave has recently been reconstructed, we don't anticipate much work taking place there at the Mass Ave crossing. The new path redesign will include updated lighting, path furniture, and stormwater drainage systems. The next handful of slides show photos of existing conditions along Lanier Park. There is a small map of the two project corridors at the bottom left corner of the screen. There is a blue star icon indicating the location where the photo was taken. This photo was taken between Russell Field and the Alewife MBTA station. There are changes coming to the area behind the black chain link fence at left. A community garden is proposed as part of the Alewife Park development project. This area is a known conflict point that we will address in the path redesign. Moving north and east along the Linear Park corridor. This photo shows Linear Park path as it curves towards Harvey Street. The path feels narrow here, and this area is a good candidate location for a widened multi-use path surface. On the left side of the photo, you can see an existing emergency call box, which is an example of something we'll be evaluating. We're now on the section of path between Harvey Street and Cedar Street. You can see a dashed white outline in the photo. This is the MBTA red line emergency exit. This is an example of a fixed element that cannot be moved and that we will have to navigate around in the pathway redesign process. Again, we're between Harvey Street and Cedar Street. This photo shows one of the wider sections of the park that represents an opportunity for additional park amenities. For example, we could include benches, a picnic table, interpretive signage, or a play element. This photo shows where the paved asphalt surface transitions to brick at the path entrance at Cedar Street. There is a known drainage issue here that will be addressed as part of the redesign project. We're moving into the section between Cameron Ave and the Cambridge-Somerville border. This area represents a pinch point behind the Mass Ave bus yard. In the photo at right, you can see where the path gets narrow, indicated by the yellow arrow. In the photo at left is the Elmwood Street path entrance. There is a residential development under construction on Elmwood Street on the left side of the photo, which includes work to upgrade and formalize the path entrance from Elmwood Street. This photo shows the border between Cambridge and Somerville, which is shown by the red bricks in the ground. We're working with Somerville to discuss opportunities for this underutilized open space. These plan view graphics highlight the key takeaways from the existing conditions analysis. This graphic shows Linear Park. At the bottom left is Russell Field. The blue line is the existing paved path area. The thin dotted line around the edge shows the existing fence locations and the limits of the project work. At this early stage of the process, we have identified opportunities to improve circulation and wayfinding signage, locate wider areas along the path for additional park elements, and found opportunities for a raised crossing at Harvey Street, as well as opportunities for placemaking and neighborhood path connection enhancements. This graphic shows Linear Park. Starting along the top of the slide, we see the section between Harvey Street and Cedar Street. We've identified opportunities to upgrade the fencing and screening along the edges of the park, as well as open space and neighborhood path connection enhancements. At the bottom of the slide, we see the section between Mass Ave, Cameron Ave, and the Cambridge-Somerville border. We've identified opportunities for gateway enhancements, opportunities to retain and improve seating and play elements at Trolley Square, and an opportunity to work with Somerville to improve underutilized open space at the Oval, where the municipal border crosses the path. Moving on to the Danny New Street path, existing conditions and project givens. 
The map graphic at right shows the two multi-use path projects in North Cambridge. At the bottom of the graphic is the Danahee Park New Street Connector Path Corridor with the area outlined in a red oval. The next handful of slides will showcase existing conditions along the former rail corridor. Some project givens include, we're going to build a 12 foot to 14 foot wide paved, accessible and lit pathway. Connections to New Street and Danahee Park will be established. We'll include a safe and comfortable crossing at New Street. We'll also examine the existing path crossing of Concord Avenue between the two rotaries. The next handful of slides show photos of existing conditions along the Danahy New Street Connector Plan Multi-Use Path Corridor. There is a small map of the two project corridors at the bottom left corner of the screen. There is a blue star icon indicating the location where the photo was taken. This photo shows the condition of the path corridor between the Sunoco gas station and Adams Fireplace Shop on Concord Ave. Moving north along the rail corridor, this photo shows the future pathway between High Tech Auto Body and Fresh Pond Mall. The corridor becomes narrower here due to a change in the width of the city-owned parcel. This map graphic on the right shows the city-owned parcel highlighted and includes labels showing the location of the Sunoco station, Fresh Pond Mall, and the Auto Body Shop. The corridor width is inconsistent here and includes a narrow part, which may result in the design including fewer plantings or other path amenities along this section. This photo shows the future multi-use path corridor where it crosses New Street. The path crossing will be designed to provide a safe, visible crossing of New Street. As part of the design process, we will consider traffic calming and or traffic control solutions at the crossing. This photo shows the multi-use path corridor between Danahy Park and the Fitchburg commuter rail line. The former rail tracks remain currently along the majority of the city-owned parcel. These will be removed as part of the redesign process. These plan view graphics highlight the key takeaways from the existing conditions analysis. This graphic shows the Danahy New Street connector path. At the very left is Concord Ave and the Sunoco station. For reference, the dashed blue line, which indicates the rough path corridor, is 15 feet wide and can give you a sense of the width of the multi-use path in the context of the city-owned parcel. We have identified opportunities for improved trailhead access, an opportunity to evaluate shifting the Concord Ave signalized crossing, some narrower areas along the path that represent challenges, and some wider areas along the path that represent opportunities. An opportunity for a raised or otherwise improved crossing at the end of New Street also exists. This graphic shows the Danahy New Street connector path. We're seeing the section between New Street and Sherman Street. We have identified opportunities for new connections into Danahy Park, an opportunity to continue the path on other property through to Sherman Street, and a feasibility study level look at a pedestrian and bike crossing over or under the MBTA Fitchburg commuter rail line. The public engagement process began in the spring and continues through the summer. As part of the public engagement process, we promoted and hosted two community walks. At these community walks, we walked both path locations, listened to community input and requests, and answered questions about the projects. These photos show the crowd that joined us on the May 5th site walk, where we had upwards of about 50 attendees. We discussed the project and answered questions brought up to the project team during the walk. Upcoming public engagement activities include, on Saturday, June 11th, we're hosting a lemonade social at Danahy Park from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the New Street entrance to the park. There will be activities for kids and adults and opportunities to provide input on the project. On Saturday, June 18th, we're hosting a Paint the Path party at Linear Park from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Harvey Street Linear Path Crossing. There will be activities for kids and adults, including a painting activity to re-envision the path crossing and opportunities to provide input on the project. In September, we're planning to host a fall public meeting to review the conceptual design plans. And in October, we're planning to tentatively host pop-up events along the path for another chance for the public to see the design plans. And in early 2023, we're planning to host a public meeting to review the final design plans. Our survey to gather your input is live. Head to www.surveymonkey.com 
forward slash r forward slash Danahy Linear Survey to complete the survey. As a primary tool to gather information from the public, the survey asks for feedback on six project themes. The six project themes are site history and interpretive signage. This theme offers a learning experience to many PATH users at once and offers a way to connect people to landscape and share engaging stories related to local history. Theme two is art and creativity. Art and creative path elements include opportunities for reflection, pause, and discovery. Theme three is ecology and resiliency. This project theme seeks to restore and enhance natural processes such as creation of habitat, native and pollinator species, stormwater management, and preserving and expanding tree canopy. These examples improve the resiliency of the greater Alewife neighborhood. Theme four is path identity and landscape character. This project theme relates to the use of specific materials, for instance, natural or man-made, for fencing, seating, and other path amenities. Theme five is multi-generational play. This theme includes incorporating play opportunities that can be enjoyed by individuals, families, and people of all ages. The final theme, number six, is social spaces and seating. A familiar theme in other Cambridge Park projects, examples of social spaces and seating include picnic tables, seating with a shade structure, and seating for small or large groups. Goals are statements of what people who live near, work near, or visit Linear Park hope to achieve over time. This draft list of project goals for the Linear Park project include, reimagine Linear Park as a destination, including programming existing underutilized open spaces. Widen the paved path surface to 14 feet where possible to allow additional space for different types of users traveling at different speeds. Design beautiful gateways and access points to the park. Create and install useful wayfinding and possibly interpretive signage as well. The final goal in the draft list is to preserve what works well today in Linear Park, to identify problems, and to address those problems in the redesign effort. The draft list of project goals for the Danahy New Street Connector Path include, preserve existing tree canopy where possible and plant new trees to establish additional shade. Choose resilient landscaping and plant buffer areas along path edges. Work with the butters and others to extend the path through to Sherman Street. Ensure that the path design and landscaping plan work with the footprint of the potential future bicycle and pedestrian crossing of the commuter rail. The vision for each multi-use path project will be informed by feedback on the six project themes. You can provide feedback by taking the survey or reaching out to a member of the project team. As a reminder, you can take the survey at this link here, which you can access by downloading a PDF of these slides at the project website or visiting www.surveymonkey.com forward slash r forward slash Danahy Linear Survey. You can visit the project websites to learn more information about the projects, submit comments and feedback using the Tell Us Your Thoughts button, view a map of the project area, or sign up for our newsletter. On Tuesday, June 7th, you can utilize the question and answer button on the Zoom meeting application to submit questions and comments on the projects. Thank you for watching our presentation and for being a part of these two path projects. We look forward to your input.